So you're 40 years old, right? You want those arms back. You want to see, you know, what you're tw when you're 20 years old, you know, those nice lean arms, chiseled arms, and your little bicep muscle going on, tricep muscle is showing up. But now, you know, it's like, where's it going? You feel like, you know, your arms are flapping in the wind. And you're thinking, man, I'm just, I'm gonna go do some bicep curls. I'm gonna do some tricep extensions. I'm gonna get these arms back. Well, I got, I'm gonna help you out today with how to get your arms back, but it's not gonna be with bicep curls and tricep extensions. In fact, if you wanna get, get those chiseled arms, we're gonna have to get rid of that fat layer, you know, that's covering the muscle tissue that is your tricep and your bicep. And in order to do that, we're gonna need exponential gene activation uh, from our muscle tissue to make our arms appear not only fit again, but beneath the surface, actually you know be transforming and making your body my body more useful and this does not come about just by doing tricep, tricep extensions and bicep curls this requires us to engage the biggest most bountiful muscles on our body namely our glutes our hamstrings our quadriceps our chest muscles our back muscles yes basically you want to make full total body compound movements your best friend. Sure, I've talked about this before, talk about it again, remind ourselves again that tricep extensions, bicep curls, though yes, I would work your arms out, those are not what are gonna give you those chiseled arms you want. So in this process we call aging, it is accompanied by, or it is, we say propelled by actually, low grade inflammation. And low grade inflammation causes us to get flabby arms. So how does resistance exercises like building your butt up, building your quadriceps up, your hamstrings up, how does that help us? Because that process itself actually increases inflammation. It actually causes the production of cytokines that are inflammatory in nature. And, but amazingly enough, when we do the physical exertion, we don't get that inflammatory response that comes like the aging process. You know, they're, they're both inflammations happening, but one of them is spurring on death and destruction, unfortunately. The other one is spurring off life, abundance, chiseled arms, uh, and you know, calf muscles that you can see, a heart that functions better, a heart that ages slower, a brain that thinks isn't, isn't fogged over and, and memory impaired. So there is a good inflammation and a bad inflammation. So thankfully, when we work out, that inflammation is to our benefit. You know, your body wants to turn on genes that express life and usefulness. And that's what happens when we physically exert ourselves, especially with big muscle movements. And you know, our body is always looking to make it easier for me, for you to do life. When you go out breaking down muscle during an exercise session, a, a really brisk walk, you know, you're doing your squats, your, your presses, your pushups, our, our, our muscles actually start creating enzymes and genes, or, or, or sorry, I should say creating genes, but upregulating genes that promote life, longevity, vigor, and all that good stuff. This is why the easy life is actually the hard life. It's the challenging life. You know, to have a body that shows up day after day and, you know, have margin for, say, sickness, for sh new stressors, for acute traumas that show up in life, because life's just gonna keep showing up for all of us, right? We have to apply, this is one of those have to's, some tough love to our body. We have, to, we have to essentially supply discomfort to our body on a consistent basis so that our body will show up for us when we want it to show up for us. You know, when you, when you go out and you start contracting your muscles via brisk walking, via some squats, jumping rope, uh, you know, shoveling rock, whatever you might be doing that, that's causing vigorous movement flexion, contraction of your muscles. Hopefully it's enjoyable to some degree, but whatever form you do a physical exertion beyond what is the norm, but is what is the norm for your body, your muscles start secreting proteins called myokines. The, and these myokines, they're like basically the fountain of youth. I, I feel like that's what myokines are. We don't know a ton about them, but we're knowing, we're getting to know more and more about these myokines. And basically the, the muscles start squirting these myokines out of, their, out of the muscle tissue and, and causing them to just run throughout our body, communicating to the brain, to the heart, to our kidneys, to our liver, to our digestive system, 
to our bones, even to our fat tissue to say, hey, this person is trying to put youth in their being. So let's help them out. Let's make it easier. Let's, pr let's promote ease in their body. Let's help increase function and efficiency in all these tissues. So the next time we get in this position, it's not as tough as it was this time. Unfortunately, the opposite is also true. If you're sitting around, you know, scrolling on your phone, watching Netflix, you know, another rerun, another, you know, uh, what would they call it? Netflix marathon or whatever. You're decreasing myokine activity. activity. And like I said, myokines are like the youth protein. And, you know, the first induces a, a more capable state of being in every organ tissue in your entire body. The latter, the Netflix show, uh, promotes a gen, literally a genetic switch towards disease, dysfunction, and just general life depression. So we want to promote, I'm pretty sure we do, otherwise we wouldn't be listening to Dr. Matt talk right now, we want to promote this life promotion, right? So, you know, many people say, Dr. Matt, does it really matter? I mean, I just don't enjoy exercising like you. I, it just doesn't bring me pleasure. There's, I mean, it's not fun for me. Well, yes, yes, it really does matter. Hopefully what I'm, I'm bringing shows that it does matter. And, you know, I'm sure it feels great to sit down. I enjoy sitting down. I think I would probably enjoy watching a movie, um, watching a show. But the thing is, one day we'll wake up and that thing that we've kind of always been able to do, you know, grab this, grab that, run here, run there. We wake up and it's like, oh my goodness, oh, that's like so hard. Carrying the groceries is so heavy. Like, I don't have the capacity to do that thing. You know, at, at first it will be just, wow. I guess I need help putting my, you know, my, I haven't been on an airplane in a while and I, I can't even get my bag up into the overhead bin. Like I need somebody to come and help me do the stewardess. Can you help me, sir, sitting there, ma'am, can you help me put this up there? Um, and then it comes down to where it's like, wow, guys, you know, go ahead, darling, son, daughter, go ahead, grandkid. I'll, I'll wait for here, you here while you guys go up and look at that, that pristine view and that observational tower up there. Then it's, you know, I need a bar to get in and out of my bathtub or, or, or um, off my toilet, or I need to have, um, you know, something on my arm just in case I fall because I can't get off the ground. I'm telling you, none of this is necessary. You think I'm crazy? I'm telling you that none of this is necessary. If we practice full range of motion movements and we consistently engage in res resistance training, our body will keep doing amazing things that a lot of other bodies are not doing. So what is it? What, what about those chiseled arms, right? I want those chiseled arms. That's what this video is supposed to be about. Not only does, you know, engaging more muscle tissue lead to that, that myokine release I was talking about, uh, the youth promoting protein, but working your legs out actually strengthens your biceps and triceps. You can actually get bigger biceps and triceps, more chiseled arms by working out your butt, working at your quads, working at your hamstrings, these huge old muscles. Because they, these muscles promote massive metabolic change. You know, they, they cause a production of, of or, or a browning of fat tissue. And, and fat tissue that's brown, guess what? It burns a lot more calories in a given day when you're just doing life. And really what we need to happen if we're gonna get our arms in shape is we need to burn a lot more calories. We need to usher the heat of our body, increase the heat of our body, so that um, our body wants to go after that fat hanging out on our arms. You know, and these are not just hypotheticals. There's actually a Norwegian study showing that when people worked out their legs, that they actually created bigger and stronger biceps. Isn't that fascinating? This is what gene expression is all about. This is all about, you know, turning on the genes of usefulness in our body. Just like, you know, a little kid, you know, they're 12 years old, 14 years old, they've never lifted a weight in their entire life and yet they're like, what, what's going on here? This, this kid's like strong. They got like, they got muscles. They can pull themselves up off something. What's the deal with that? It's gene expression. It's hormones that are working on their behalf. So yes, work out your arms. But for every time you work out your arms, if you, if you are shooting for maximum life benefit, maximum life efficiency, then strongly consider putting legs into your workouts and maybe doing legs and arms at the same time. You know, get your quad movements in, your hamstring movements in, your deadlifts in, your, um, your full squats, your lunges, your step ups, get these babies in as part of your routine. Okay, so you say, I'm out of shape, I'm so out of shape, I'm so obese, I'm so handicapped, you know, I'm missing appendages. Is there any hope? Can, 
how, how am I going to do any of this? Like, I can't do a squat. I, I, I mean, my knees are broken. My hips are broken. 100%. There is tons of opportunity for you. So there's a 2021 study published in BCM Medicine that showed that just substituting in 30 minutes of physical activity for 30 minutes of sedentary active, sedentary living, uh, say like watching TV, scrolling on the internet, just 30 minutes, that and, and then you go out and you do some kind of activity beyond that. Maybe it's walking, you know, maybe it's jumping on the trampoline, uh, maybe it's scootering down the road. That positive movement actually shifted body composition significantly. And it, and, and it did this by decreasing visceral fat, which is fat around your organs, the worst type, most inflammatory, most terrible fat, the most aging fat, and an increased muscle mass. And this is over basically a 12 month time period. What's even cooler though, is that these were, they were checking people that were aged 55 to 75 years old. And so we're not talking about 15 year olds or 25 year olds, 55 to 75 year olds. These people, by simply changing their uh, movement pattern from a sit sitting sedentary life to a movement life, you know, they significantly changed the entire trajectory of their health. And often people will say that you know, they can't do anything about their body changes. You know, with age and you know just this how it is. You know, just you get a gut, and 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 you just get your hips get really big and your arms get really flabby, but the human body is ready. It is so willing to adapt if we give it the right information, the right stressors, on a consistent basis. So you don't want the easy life. You want the hard life, um, and it is either you know it's either going to be about watching TV. The body gets really good at that, or it's the body gets really good at moving. All right, so let me know what little consistent adjustment, adjustment you are making to your life routine, your training routine. I would love to hear it. It doesn't have to be massive. It has to be, it needs to be little, it needs to be consistent. And if you have some little thing that you're doing consistently, consistently, guess what? You add time to that, boom. Time plus whatever you're doing creates a big difference. And I would love to hear what you're doing. So. If you have not already subscribed, subscribe. If you haven't already liked, like. And if you have not share this with somebody, please do. Because we want to create massive health opportunity. I want to see an entire community, an entire uh, county, state, country that is just overwhelmed with health accumulation. Because the thing is, when people are overwhelmed with health accumulation, when they're overwhelmed with health and, and vitality and vigor, we make really good decisions. We think way less about ourselves. And uh, we tend to give, 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 serve, 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 and uh, you know, life opportunity just shows up. All right.